beautiful people what's going on with you so i know y'all saw the episode i put up yesterday i'm gonna let you know right now i was slipping i did not know the audio was that bad i put a hook and by the way i'm recording this outside right now just because i'm not at home right now and i wanted to i want to have a quick little convo with you guys just because i wasn't i wasn't close enough to actually be able to get my microphone and stuff like that i'm at my day job but one day one day i shall be freed from the shackles of my commonality of employment and we shall meet and cross paths again and we shall have a good time god willing now anyway um a lot's been going on i had like i did like a whole really in-depth just break down a lot of concept yesterday and um i was talking about just like the praise of gang culture and the black community and the mexican community and the urban asian community and i was some base i was basically was saying bro was like i actually did like a little small clip on instagram talking about it and you guys might have saw it already but um i called them ghetto gladiators and i was saying like the reason in our communities and our poor in these poor communities why we praise gang affiliation while we look at being part of a gang wearing that red flag wearing that blue flag shooting a two or two or five niggas in the jack in the box because the niggas cut in front of you in line the reason why we praise that is because for a long time those dudes were our gladiators those dudes were our urban warriors those were the guys who um those were the ones who who were pinnacles of manhood, the guys who represented what it was to be a man and what it was, what it was to be solid, what it was to be the guy who people look at and say, you know what, this is the real man. This is the person who we all look up to. Like, gang, street niggas, and street niggas in urban communities are signs, are symbols of masculinity. And a lot of the times we'll go out our way to emulate that. You know, it's the same reason how while it's while it's it's fairly common for most American men of all races to try to to try to to, to go join the army or look at the Marines as like the highest level because they look at as quote unquote the highest level of masculinity. And I don't know. I think I think the reason why because I got you know they 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 gave me permission slips. You know, the niggas when I was when I was out there living in their underprivileged environments. They came in with permission slips to kind of join gangs and stuff, but it's just the reason why I guess I never cracked with it, I never got with it was because I always felt like that was so far from my nature. You know, I always be, you know, I'll be telling y'all like, and this is one way I guess you can kind of find out what the thing, what's your passion, what what career you want to do in life to make you happy. If it is just one, I always parallel to what I would have been had I been born 300 years ago. And not been in slavery. <laughs> would I have been born if I had been born 2,000 years ago? Like what I would have been. Had I been nacido, which in Portuguese means born. Had I had been born 2,000 years ago, I probably would have been some form of religious leader. Or a herald. Some form of orator or possibly a comedian. Some form of that. Uh, like right now, basically what I'm doing right now is podcasting, broadcasting. And me doing that, me doing that is kind of like my form of conveying like kind of like giving my personal opinion about things and speaking the truth, taking large concepts and breaking them down in my own who the hell is fucking my podcast <sighs> okay now this is a group of group of it's just a family <sighs> making a bunch of weird noises making a bunch of weird noises I don't know what the heck they doing but anyway um, but yeah so I look, I look at the world kind of like that. Like, if you want to figure out what you want to do in this world, if you want to figure out what you want to manifest, you know, don't be scared. Don't be scared. It, you know, it's weird. As I was telling somebody this about that. One of the scariest things in life is to realize that you don't have yourself figured out as much as you thought you did. You don't have yourself figured out as much as you thought you did. The things that you think that the things that you felt you were so passionate about, you're not so passionate about. And I had that happen to me. I feel like you go through that phase in your early twenties, like learning what things you really don't like, things you do like. Like I thought for the longest time, I I thought for the longest time, I thought for the longest time, my mission in this world was to be a janitor. I felt like that is. I feel like my life was just gonna stop being a janitor, and that was it. But now. Now, you know, I'm a podcaster. I'm a podcaster. I'm a broadcaster. I speak to the masses in the million. I speak to the masses in the millions and give my opinion and try to interpret the world or educate in my own kind of form, I dare say. And it's kind of interesting. Like, it's kind of a dope feel. I'm thinking about, honestly, and I've been thinking about this a lot more. I have been thinking about doing, like, more live vlogs with the... See, I like doing live vlogs, but I feel like when I do live vlogs, it takes away so much focus from the podcast because... 
this is what I love to do more than anything in essence is talk to you guys, get live and talk to you guys and let you guys know what's going on in my world. Like this is where this is where I guess this is where the magic starts. This is where the magic. Oh, this is they need to change the mulch in this complex. So where I'm where I'm actually working at right now, this is a um, this is a subdivision in a very, very beautiful city called Elk Grove, California. Elk, the Grove of the Elks. And it actually is pretty nice here. It's actually pretty calm and peaceful. It's beautiful. There's this beautiful, beautiful, I think, think vanilla, vanilla cream colored home in front of me that's for sale. It is lovely. I think it's like five, I think it's worth 500,000. Last night, I was going online looking for, um, for a new place to live because what I'm thinking about doing now is if my money, the money I think I'm going to be making from the podcast go the way I think it is, I was thinking about actually moving to um move into a different city still in california more more or less but just somewhere just a different environment man like i think i am going to be nearing the point of the podcast of my podcast career where my podcast life where i'm gonna start being able to have the money to kind of enjoy my life the way i want to or meet people the way i want to and in doing that i want to i want to explore more bro like it kind of hurts me that i've that that I haven't got to explore the, my state or yeah, even just the state, like the way I want to, because y'all don't know. See, thing about people from California, we take advantage of how beautiful we take advantage of how beautiful, how blessed we are to live in this province and paradise and not to knock anybody who lives out there in the plains of Nebraska and the hills of Montana and the heavens of the, of the Dell where Zeus is. You all got some nice places too, but ours is a little bit better. Round of applause for California. California. Let's have a party. But it's just, it's just different out here, man. Like it's a it's a totally different vibe. But um, it's lit, man. I'm think I'm thinking about I'm thinking about relocating to San Diego, San Diego County. I want to move out there so bad so because, bro. Like y'all don't know. Like shout out to the people in San Diego. When I when I first started going out there, I've I've had about four or five straight years of going back and forth to San Diego and the people out there have always treated me so well like always made me feel at home always made me feel hella special so y'all already know y'all already know I got love for y'all y'all already know I got love for y'all the long way like it's it's not even it's not even a debate like y'all already know what it is so it's it's I will, it's a I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking about going doing it going stopping by there and just checking out with the people and seeing what's up seeing what's up but tears with tears Tears with tears, tears with tears, tears with tears, tears with tears, tears with tears. Um, I actually have to use the bathroom right now, really bad. And I hate, I hate to, I hate to, I hate to cut this short. I just want to do like a little brief intermission with you guys because I didn't do, I didn't do an episode yesterday, and I didn't do an episode the day before. And it's just because, man, this this day job has just been fucking taking over. What I'm gonna start doing now. If I can, I'm going to at least give you guys, I'm going to stop doing that because I got to start doing better because I know you guys be hitting me be like, where's the podcast? Where's the podcast at? So we're not doing that anymore. We're not doing it anymore. We're going hard in the pain. And I promise you guys, I'm going to start keeping up more and more and more. And um, I want you guys to start and let me know. Hit me up with some topics and let me know some stuff you want me to talk about. Like I want, because I want, I don't want this just to be me giving my personal intake. I want, I want the community to let me know some more of what you guys want me to talk about. And let's see. So with that being said, Monday through Friday, the People's Paradise Podcast. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Love, peace, and chicken grease.